Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of May 28th. So on June 3rd, we have the Sagittarius full moon. This full moon, I'm, I'm actually a little bit confused by this full moon, I'll be honest. On one hand, it seems to have a little bit of this playful, light, adventurous energy. And then on the other hand, it seems to have this energy that wants us to take responsibility, wants us to kind of tend to, you know, our schedule, our plans, the things that we want to get done, get organized, be responsible. It kind of has that energy too. So I feel like we might be getting this push-pull dynamic between these two states of being. It actually kind of reminds me of um, that song from Mary Poppins, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. That's kind of the vibe around this full moon. Maybe there's some medicine, maybe there's some hard work or challenges or responsibility or we feel a little bit of heavy burden or weight on our shoulders. But there's this opportunity here to also make it sweet, to lighten it, to find our own spoonful of sugar, to kind of sweeten the deal, whatever it is that's going on for us. So see if you can kind of keep that in mind this week under this full moon energy. How can you take care of your responsibilities but have fun while doing it or make time for fun while doing it or turn it into some sort of game? A good example, and I'm sure that this is not going to be the case for everybody, but a good example would be turning a business trip into a semi-holiday or, you know, doing something like that to kind of combine, I'm taking my take care of my responsibilities and I'm also having fun while doing it or making time for fun while I take care of responsibilities. That's the feeling around this full moon, a push-pull between these two states. And of course, that'll manifest differently depending on where you are in your life. Full moons in general are always portals of release. They tend to heighten energy. They kind of shine a spotlight on things in our lives, especially on our emotional body. So emotions can be highlighted. Also, this full moon falls in Sagittarius. So this is a little bit of a clue here too. Sagittarius is ruled by the arrow of the archer. And I really like this for the energy of this full moon because I think it's a bit of a guide for us. The archer has to be very, very focused to make its mark, right? And I think that's what this full moon is also asking us to do, is to just get focused on what's important and make that our mark. Maybe right now what is important for you is rest, relaxation, and play. Or maybe what's important for you right now is to take care of those, you know, bills or to, you know, finish a project that is um, on your mind. It, whatever it is, Get narrowed with your focus, make your, make your mind clear, and then just like the archer, you can take aim and push your arrow in the direction that you want to head in. So that's the energy of the full moon, a little bit of a mixed bag. It does feel a little bit all over the place when I dive into it energetically. So maybe we'll feel that a little bit too. Maybe we'll feel a little bit scattered or, you know, not quite sure whether we're coming or going, that push-pull dynamic. But just think what's really important, what do I need to be responsible for, and then how can I have fun, lighten up, not take things so seriously kind of balancing all of those states is probably our agenda for the week. And of course, we're moving into June, a new month brings a new vibration. June, the most probably what I would say significant event for June is Venus moving into Leo. Venus is going to go retrograde in July. So as it enters Leo, we kind of, be, and it's going to go retrograde in Leo. So as it enters Leo, we start to begin to work with these Venus themes, but I'll talk more about that next week because it happens next week. Um, but that's probably what I would say is the biggest event for the month. If you want your June forecast, it is up and ready for you. I will drop a link below. You can also find it at foreverconscious.com. It goes through all the key events for the month of June so you can read up about what's ahead. All right. I hope you found that helpful. Enjoy the full moon. It does have a little bit of confusing, wobbly energy around it. But I do think overall, it's a much lighter full moon than the full moons we've had recently. So that's something. 
Hope you all have a wonderful week. I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.